Guys, if you didn't know, Honey, the app that is an extension for your browsers, has essentially been stealing money from creators for a while and billions of dollars. It essentially makes it so that they're the last people who get the transaction reward off of any sort of affiliate link, right? So it's like, usually an affiliate link works where you have the link, you give the link to the consumer, the consumer uses the link, and then they like purchase something, and then the money from that affiliate link, that 10%, whatever, goes to the creator, right? But with Honey's case, essentially what they do is they bypass all that and they are the person that checks for coupons. And by checking for coupons, they are the last person to have access to that transaction, right? So by having the last, being the last in line for that transaction, they get the money that was supposed to go to their creator and they get to profit essentially off of being like a coupon finder, right? And then they apparently don't find you the best coupons. Apparently the creator or the person selling can like lie and not actually show the best coupons. And there's just a lot of underhanded tactics and a lot of fraud essentially built within the application, right? So there's no such thing as a free lunch, guys. Any sort of free product that exists, the free product isn't the free product. You are the product. I think there's a saying that goes, if it's free, then you're the product. And that goes with social media, that goes with YouTube, that goes with any sort of application that you think is free. Guys, Google scrapes millions and billions of dollars from your data every single day by selling it to advertisers, to selling it to people who want your information, to selling it to these big giant corporations that need your information in order to get you to the product that you want. You know, there's that dead internet theory of there being no such thing as an internet or like everybody who's on the internet is a bot or like the amount of people who are actually online is like very low. And honestly, that might be true because eventually, or what our advertisers and marketers are going to want is to have an internet where you are like, not only using the internet, but you are being funneled into with every single purchase that you could possibly want, right? I mean, like, this is insane. Like, think about having a different experience from everybody else just so that advertisers can cater specific marketing toward you and just have it so that, like, anytime you use an application, anytime you use anything, it's only the things that you're exactly going to want to see and exactly going to want to purchase. Some people like this, some people don't. I personally don't. Don't take my information, but I'm also like not crazy about it. And I'm like, should be a little bit more on top of it. Um, either way, there's no such thing as a free lunch. And I think that this topic is a great one because this is something that I learned in like economics in high school, right? And a lot of people don't really understand this. There's no such thing as a free lunch. This concept, right? And I'll put it literally, right? Let's say that you are at work and there's a work event after work or uh, during lunchtime at work, right? And it's, you spend an hour there, you get a free lunch and then you just go on about, about your day, right? But you get to the event, you get the free lunch and you're about to walk out and they're like, uh, actually you need to stay for at least 25 minutes, at least 30 minutes to ensure that you like understand this. We're like rolling out a new program. We're trying to get people to use this. Like if you could stay and then I like, could show you this, like that'd be really cool, right? And so obviously you're like socially obligated to stay in that situation because you know that the leaving there and just like walking in and like taking and transacting something with like for completely free, even though it was like advertised as such is like a little bit wrong because you can't just walk into a store and grab something off the shelf and just leave. It's like, it's so free. It's too good to be true. And yeah, it is. So like, you know, you stay for that event, you get talked to for 30 minutes. Somebody tries to sell you a timeshare. Somebody chose to tries to sell you some sort of uh, corporate package or something like that. Right. And then you listen to it, you either purchase it, you don't. Uh, and then that's that. And you get a free lunch out of it, right? But the time and the attention that you spent at that event is worth more than you think, right? So think about it. So if you spend an hour at this event, right? That's an hour after work or during your lunch time. I don't know about you, but a company or companies that I used to work at would not compensate me for the lunch and learns or the lunch events that I would be at. So essentially I would be taking money out of my pocket to attend these events so that I could learn something new or I can like experience something new, get a new perspective or whatever, and a free lunch, uh, but I would lose an hour of work. And that means I would have to stay later in the day in order to like make up my hours. And that's really bad. That's really depressing because there is no such thing as a free lunch and that just goes to show, right? That's how it is. The way in which reality works is that there is no such thing as a free lunch and it has been this way for a while. And I think that like people understand this and people will use it to their advantage. With anything being free, you automatically are so intrigued and so like, is that true? Like, I can't believe that because it isn't true because it's a way and a use of psychology to like convince somebody to purchase something or convince somebody that something is a better deal, right? I think Alex Ramosi said this in one of his videos, 
But if you're trying to sell something for $15, instead of saying, or sell three things for $15, instead of saying, I'm selling you these three things for $5 each, right? You should instead say, I'm selling this $30 item for $15. The first one is only gonna be $15 and the next two are free, right? Or it's like something like that, right? So making anything free is something that will make somebody really enticed to go do that. Why do you think there's free trial classes? Why do you think there's some sort of free sign up or like free software usage for like 20 days or something like that? Any sort of free item is something that people are trying to sell you. And guys, we all know this, but the information that they're taking from you when you sign up for those free software signups, those free websites, free newsletter, whatever, that is the thing they're actually trying to get. You are the product. You are the person they're trying to convert and sell to. Like if you look at these YouTubers, I'm not saying this is bad too. I, I want you to understand that this is just a part of life, a part of psychology, right? There's YouTubers like Jay Klaus, there's YouTubers like Ali Abdal, all these people that provide you so much free content and so much like information and that's good, but they're also trying to convert you and trying to make you purchase their items. And again, this is not bad. I'm saying that's just a part of life. There's no such thing as a free lunch, right? That podcast you're listening to, that uh, episode you're listening to of, you know, on Prime Video, that's like one of them is free, right? Everything there is trying to convert you and trying to make you into a customer. League of Legends being a free game, Marvel Rivals being a free game. These are all free experiences, right? But think about how many billions and millions of dollars they're making off of that idea of it being free. And then you're saying, well, the game was free. So I said, I at least should just like buy one skin or like buy the battle pass or like do anything like that. Guys, freemium models like work so well because people are just convinced that free is a better deal. So if it's free, they'll spend their time using the product, using the software. And then if it's actually free, they'll be like, well, I guess I also have to purchase something on top of this. Or, you know, maybe I have to uh, justify my being able to pay for free. Like people feel guilty about things being free, right? So I think that Honey and the current situation we're in is just a reiteration of this. It's PayPal. It's a banking app. It's a software that I didn't expect anything less from. I mean, again, I saw a William Osmond video a little while ago about him going into the Honey offices and actually seeing the people who work there. And from what I saw, like I could kind of tell that the people weren't bad or like there was like, you know, nothing wrong it seemed like, but I guess I just had the wrong perception. I personally used Honey for a little bit. I never really found any good deals, but like, you know, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know that they were stealing money from creators and stealing money from literally people like me taking money out of my hands. I don't even use affiliate links or anything like that, but if I ever did in the future, I would not want Honey as a sponsor because literally they're taking the money that belongs to us, the people who are doing the work, and they are being the last person at the end of the funnel. And that is like insane. Like being the last person at the end of the funnel, like being able to scoop all of the work that the, you know, the people who are producing the content, everything's making, and they just scoop it right out the bottom. They just change the HTML. They just change a little bit of the affiliate link. They make it so that it's Honey's money and not yours. So don't save money with Honey, lose money with Honey. Lose money for me, for creators, for everybody around. And this just goes to show again, that there's no such thing as a free lunch. Capitalism is capitalism and we live in the world that we live in and people will use psychology against us to figure out and get money out of our pockets into their pockets and that's okay. But understanding and being aware of the tactics that they use and why we are so like inclined to like free things and want free things and just having a better and broader understanding of yourself will help you avoid these issues and will help you be a better person in general. So there's no such thing as free lunch and you automatically love free things because in our monkey brains or whatever, like it takes work and it takes effort to make something and create something out of nothing, right? So when something is like, oh, something's free and like, it's like you can get it or whatever, like you want it, right? That in itself is something that like we can't believe, like, and we have to like be intrigued by it and we have to go see it and we have to go want it or have to go try it, right? Whenever there's a free event, whenever there's like a free thing, just be a little wary of the thing that you're actually getting yourself into. Obviously there are times when or the benefits are better than the drawbacks. So what, you had to lead your email to go to a gym or you had to like, give your ID or like sign a bunch of papers in order to like join a gym. Like, yeah, you're giving your information, but you're also getting a deal out of it or you're trying something new. Like there's always a cost. There's always some sort of transaction that occurs. You just gotta be okay with that. And again, be aware. All right, this is an Athlete Live company. I hope you learned something and hope you have a nice rest of your day. Please check out more of my videos over here and just leave a question in the comments if you want me to talk about anything specifically. I've been trying to post a little bit more and trying to have more like 
deeper and actual thoughtful conversations with myself and with you guys. And just if you want to hear anything or learn anything more, just let me know in the comments down below. All right. Appreciate it. Peace.